Dave, a 1-1 draw here at uh, Altrincham this evening. A game where, is it almost a point that you're happy to take with everything that's happened? And I suppose just give me your overall assessment of this evening. Yeah, listen, I think it's... Uh, if I'd offered, been offered a point at half-time, I'd definitely have taken it. Um, disappointed with the man of the goal, obviously. Again, it's a, it's a mistake, but... What we've got to do is, is make sure that it becomes an important point, and well, that's what I've said in there because the effort they've put in in the second half and the discipline they've showed um, is, is worthy of a, I say, worthy of a point. They put the bodies on the line after we've had, like I say, a really, really tough, uh, tough run of games. So the effort was again magnificent, um, and it becomes a becomes a good point if we recover quickly and back that up on back up on Saturday and, and hopefully like I say come the back end we're, we're, we're looking back on, on what's happened tonight and um, it, it was saying it was it was um, the, the effort that we put in is, it has got our, our rewards. So the first big talking point of the first half obviously was the red card we, we weren't really able to see because it was on the far side of the pitch what, what's your overall reaction to that red card? Yeah it's it listen, it, it, it's all Cass has said he's, he, he's caught him but, but he slipped so as he slipped he's, he's, he's he slipped with his left foot, his right foot's come up. Um, it's hard because, again, you don't know. We'll see, I suppose, we'll see from the, see from the, the, the video. It didn't look like anything from, from our perspective. Um, I suppose the frustrating thing is that that'll go down as violent conduct, but it's nowhere near violent conduct, and he'll get, potentially, if we, if we don't appeal it, he'll get a three-game ban for that, which is, it's, isn't that, that, the punishment of that is nowhere close to what, what it should be. Um, so again, we'll look at that. Um, I thought we reacted to it really, really well. Obviously, get the get the goal really well. Worked goal from us. To be honest, I think we started the game really well. Um, and if we'd have kept eleven men on the pitch, I thought we looked we looked like a really, really good team. Um, unfortunately, like I say, you're going out of the ten. I thought we handled that bit brilliantly. Um, and goal's a mistake, Ben makes a mistake, should save it. Um, what we said at half-time is can we, I suppose, pull him out of the mire a little bit. Um, he's took all, well, lots of plaudits recently and he's, he's won us points and um, well, unfortunately tonight he's made a mistake which has resulted in us losing points but, um, like I say, the, how the rest of the game panned out and, and, and from that point with how we set up second half I'd like to have been a little bit more of a more of a threat, but we wanted to try and, I suppose, separate the, the second half into into 15 minute blocks, um, and depending on how it was going, um, try to maybe be a little bit more adventurous towards towards the back end. We had, I hope I said we we had threats. Um, Moles in terms of drilling with the ball gets his gets his shot away. Shelts has a chance doesn't get a shot away. Um, so there were like I say, with the bits and bobs. But in, in, in the main, our our defensive discipline and, and our shape for, for that second half and the work rate to go alongside it was outstanding. I was just going to mention about Luke Molyneux. Obviously, five ten minutes after that red card, he fantastically just get, gets the byline, puts it across for for Oatsy. A little bit of a different maybe position for him tonight than it was. Uh, on Saturday but how effective was he and how effective is he for the team and as you mentioned got a shot away in the second half that maybe could have went in yeah well, listen, we've, we've made no secret of the fact that he needs to score more and assist more um, and, and like I say he's done that and he's looked the real threat he, he had the full back he had 1v1 in the, in the first 10 seconds of the game went past him like he wasn't there um, again if you've been really really critical you'll go with the first Eight minutes, he had him one v one six times, um, and really could have um, created more from the from the from the bits he had. But um, yeah, in the main, we, we started the game really well. We we we, we tweaked our shape slightly, but again, shape is what it is. It's it, again, it's more in terms of recognising or seeing how potentially they would play and, and trying to get our dangerous players in, in good areas and like I said the goal the goal comes from that. Um, and credit to them we've we've made a, a sub at half time and, and, and rejigged our shape again. Something that we're like I say we I suppose we're used to doing the fact we did it at Solio um, and we've had to put our bodies on the line and get blocks and there's been balls going in our box but in the main like I say we've we have we have defended it really really well. Back to moles, like I say. He's he, he a little bit, a little bit short, as you would imagine, in terms of um, he's been asked to do a lot in 
the last sort of three games and um, the three games on the back of a I'm probably close to a month break for him um, but he'll get better the, the, the sort of fitter or the more match fit he gets we mentioned about that second half and how well we defended. You know, we usually we come against a few teams this season where they've just sat in against us and it's been us who's constantly attacking. And it's probably been from what we watched the first time this season where we've just obviously had to sit in, obviously due to being down to ten men. How different was that for your side? And and how pleased are you with the way they dealt with the constant pressure? Of course, it's different. You don't want to do it, um, but you've got to recognise. Listen, you ain't getting promoted by playing with ten men all season. That's as simple as it simple as it is. Um, so to get anything with ten men for seventy minutes is a, a massive, uh, a massive positive. Um, like I say, we 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 did it at Solil, um, and, and from again a similar stage in the in the first half. Decision that again is is, is debatable, um, and within that. Within that second half, with that within that 60 minutes, we could see them by switching off from a set piece from the corner, and Tyler making a poor mistake um, when we're, when we're comfortable. I suppose the difference in that was that we, we probably provided a little bit more threat and we had a little bit more legs on the on the bench, which we, which we didn't have to didn't have tonight to sort of affect it. Um, but it's about getting getting results and in adversity, in situations where you don't play well, um, you've got to try and pick points up and we, we, we've done that tonight the, the frustrating thing is that going off the first 25 minutes of the game we started the game unbelievably well and we looked like looked like the game was there for we looked like we were really on it tonight and unfortunately the opportunity to go with three points has been, has been taken away from us Another point on the road and it probably is a point that you said you would have taken at half time but with the likes of Sutton winning tonight Stockport getting the win as well where, where, how do you overall assess the league at the moment going into Saturday back at the Vic it doesn't make a difference what other teams do that makes no again unfortunately no relevance we can't, can't affect what other, what other teams do um, and I think we've got 15 games to go now um, and again depending on what the I suppose the split is between home and away you've just got to keep picking up points um, it's dead easy to go you look at Certain away games, I'll sort of talk here away is a, a tough game. Every game's a tough game. We're going away from home. Um, we've got a tough game at home on Saturday, then we go to King Glen on the Tuesday night, which is a, again is a, is a big ask against teams. Now you're coming up against that, I suppose, a, a safe in the safe in the mind that, that they're not under pressure and they're not going to they're not going to get relegated. Um, but we've just got, <coughs> we've got to focus on on what we do. Um, like I say, we we'll we'll be tired. And well, we certainly are tired after that. We've had a like I say, a schedule that has been massively demanding um, for, for the players and we've still managed to pick up points right the way through. Um, so it, it, the matter of a point is a massive, massive point for us. Um, we have to recover now quickly um, and look forward to a, a, another tough game, on, tough game on, on Saturday. But from our perspective, it's about winning again. Um, and... Physically, them trusting themselves, they're in great shape, absolutely brilliant shape, and I think that, like I said, a testament to the work they do, a testament to the work that, that Jake does, and I think that showed with, like I say, to play 70 minutes with, with 10 men and still be um, strong at the end is a, a massive compliment to them. Just finally, just an overall assessment of the score, obviously Cass maybe suspended now, and Sturry didn't make the trip, neither did Joe Gray, um, McDonald came on the bench, Cooper on the bench for the first time, and if you can just give us an update on Tom White's situation as well. <coughs> Yeah, listen, we're, <clears throat> we've gone from uh, spoke about this, and I, and I probably realised it would be the case with the amount of games in a short space of time. You go from everyone being fit to all of a sudden people carrying niggles, and um, and we've got to be, I suppose, a little bit selective. We knew that playing Jamie on Saturday they probably ruled him out for tonight, but we're pretty positive that he'll be fit for fit for the weekends. So that's another, like I say, another body that's been rested tonight, and um, hopefully he'll be he'll be fine. Joe is again. We, we've got to be careful with Joe. Um, I suppose I remember around the, the fact that he's only he's only 17. He's had a little bit of a an issue with his with his back, and backs for 17 year olds are massive massive red flags. So um, he's been asked to do a lot and, and has done brilliantly well, just in terms of the physical demands on of our training on a 17 year old and a massive massive plus so we need to be like i say we need to be be careful with him and, and he won't be risked at all so we, we'll shut him down for a week 10 days and see hopefully it settles down and we'll see where where he's at um 
hopefully we've got others, others coming back. Ryle Donaldson had a um, an injection in his in his foot yesterday, so he's 48 hours and will be back training and doing something maybe Saturday and probably train on on Monday. Luke Williams trained uh, trained yesterday, so again it's just about getting more minutes back into uh, back into him. And listen, the Tom one, um, I'm hopeful that they'll be able to get something done. Um, it's again. I suppose it's really frustrating for him because he knows that I want want him here, um, and he's travelled with the lads today. And he wants to support support the lads. Again, I've got a manager, I suppose a budget if you like, and there are potentially other things we'd like to keep bring in alongside that. But I hope, I'm hoping he'll be with us um, for, the, for, the, for the rest of the season because I think he can be a, uh, an important player, not just in the in the short term, but possibly even medium term to long term for us. Dave, thanks very much. Thank you.